This is a video for Amazon sellers and potential Amazon sellers. I'm gonna show you how to do some research on your competition, on your competitors, and show you specifically how to find your competitors, your top competitors, top keywords, their biggest and baddest keywords, and also their smallest keywords because there's two strategies. One strategy where you attack the biggest, baddest keywords, and another strategy where you attack the smallest, more forgotten keywords. First, you're going to need Helium 10 in order to do anything that I'm about to show you. Specifically, the two Helium 10 tools we're going to use in this video are Helium 10 X-Ray and Helium 10 Cerebro. More specifically, Cerebro is the tool we're going to use to figure out what our competitors' keywords are. And if you click the link in the description of this video, it'll bring you to this page right here where you can get a 50% off your first month uh, for whichever plan you purchase, and I'll show you the plans here in just a second, or 10% off every month when you use the Scotia 10 code. So I've got this product up right here, for example, a UV black light flashlight. So we come up here and run the X-Ray Chrome extension tool. What this tool does is it populates all the data from the page that we're looking at, all these products on this page right here and it puts it all into this one box so we can click, quickly analyze some things. To see a really good video on what kind of data I look for in here, watch this video, how I turned a 65 cent product into over 40 grand in revenue, uh, I think about 20 grand in profit. So definitely check out that video to see what I look for in here. In this case, this product isn't an example of the type of data that I necessarily look for. I'm just using this product as an example, period. So if we click uh, the sales column, I'm gonna sort that high to low and you'll see that, okay, there's lots of sales happening for this product. Several sellers doing multiple thousands, like really high demand for this product. Review count also extremely high. So if I were selling this product, these would be some of my top competitors, these guys that are making the most sales in this product niche. Now the reason I say this isn't the type of data I would recommend is because if you look at the review count column, those sellers also have tons and tons and tons of reviews. So in order to compete with them, because competition on Amazon is all about reviews, in order to compete with them, you'd need several thousands of reviews. So that's why this product would be way too competitive, but the demand is there, which is really awesome. So going with the example, assuming that we're selling this product, these would be our top competitors right here. So let's take this very first one right here, for example, this Vansky brand one. Let's make sure it's the right product. Yeah, it is. Okay, and they're doing 170,000 in revenue per month. Those are some huge numbers. That's really impressive. So there's kind of two ways you can go about this. You can go to the Cerebro tool in Helium 10 and copy and paste the ACE in there, or you can just click the product ACE in right here from inside the X-ray box. It'll open up the product page in a new tab and then if you scroll down to this section right here, uh, I don't know why it's saying log in right now. Usually there's a graph right here. I am logged in. Maybe it's because I'm in an incognito tab. It's a little confused or whatever. But if you click right here, this is what I'll show you. If you click on keywords, then that will automatically take you right in here into Cerebro and will already have copy and pasted and pulled up all the keywords associated with that competitor that you're looking at. So we'll see right here, we've already got this list pulled up of these different keywords cat pee, pet urine detector, cat urine light, cat urine detector. And we'll see right here, Cerebro IQ score. But what I really wanna show you is the search volume column right here. So this cat pee, uh, so cat pee, the search phrase cat pee is being searched 1300 times on Amazon per month and then so on. So like this one right here, black light for pet urine detection, 4,500. So that's a very popular search term uh, that people are using to find this product. And then if we scroll all the way over here to the right, you'll see that there's an organic rank column and you'll see that it's currently sorted by um, all the keywords for which it's ranked organically in the number one spot. So if we back this out, what's really amazing here is we're seeing, okay, we're seeing the keywords that they're ranked for, what position they're ranked for those keywords and the search volume associated with those keywords. So basically what we can do is come over here and find the keywords with the highest search volume for which they're also ranked the highest. So if there's a search term right here that by far has way more search volume and they're ranked number one for it, chances are extremely high that that's where most of their purchases are coming from and that would be their top best performing keyword. And that's just simply numbers right there, right? If a keyword's getting searched 100 times and they're ranked number one for it, okay, they're max, they'll get 100 sales, right? 
I mean, they could buy multiple units in the cell, but you get what I'm saying. But if it's a keyword that's searched 100,000 times and they're ranked number one, they're obviously gonna get a lot more sales than just 100. So if I scan the search volume column right here, uh, there's 4,500, 2,000, boom, this one's got 50,000 UV resin. And if we look over here, they're ranked number one for it. So chances are very high that they're pulling a ton of their sales through that UV resin keyword. And then another way you can kind of look at this, if you sort the search volume column by highest to lowest, and then come over here and look in the organic rank column. It's so like this one, number five, that means 120,000 searches and they're ranked number five. They're definitely pulling a lot of sales through there. Let's find the first one here that's ranked number one. So number three, I mean, they're whatever that one is, they're getting a ton from there, but right here, the first one, number one, First one that they're ranked one for is 50,000 UV resin. Okay, that's the one we were already looking at. But this number three one right here, UV light. So anyways, that's how that works. And if you're one of their competitors that you want to come in and see where their traffic and where their sales are coming from and see if you can start to carve out your piece of that traffic, right? Maybe you want to use those keywords in your listings. Now, if you were able to compete with them on reviews, then I absolutely would say you should steal their top keywords and implement those keywords into your listing. But if you, like these, this seller and these other sellers have thousands of reviews. So if you have 10 reviews, you, there's no way you're gonna be able to come steal their keywords right here and actually be able to rank for those keywords and get sales through those keywords. The only way these keywords would have any value if you have very, very little reviews is to use them to run PPC because organically you're never gonna rank at the top for that keyword, but you could use PPC to get shown at the top for that keyword. But then again, if, you're, if you've got 10 reviews, everybody else has several thousands, the only way in that case where you have any chance of getting any sales is your product or your bundling, something has to be drastically different and more valuable when people compared to the other listings with thousands and thousands of reviews in order for you to win that customer's purchase. And then if you don't have a lot of reviews, maybe the strategy is for you to come in here and find lower volume search terms that aren't as competitive, that people are overlooking, not really worrying about, and you use those to rank and build sales volume and get more reviews on your listing through those sales until eventually you can start to rank and compete with these other competitors of yours for these bigger keywords that do carry a lot higher search volume. And also I'll mention right here, if you were trying to go the route of um, you know, finding smaller keywords for which to rank for, the competing products column is a good column to pay attention to because it'll tell you how many products are competing to rank for that keyword. So we'll see, I mean, my guess here is that this these higher keyword uh, search volume ones will have more products competing for them, not always. And if you see that high volume search term doesn't have a lot of products ranking for it or competing for it, then that means that that's probably a good one for you to try and rank for. But anyways, that's how to use Cerebro to spy on your competitors' keywords and just straight up steal away whichever ones you think or are the right ones to implement into your listing and business. And let me cover that real quickly. So let's say you find some keywords now, you want to rank for those keywords. What are the, you got the keyword, you want to rank for the keyword, what's the in-between there, what are the steps that you take to actually try and rank for that keyword. And you know, a main one is just gonna be taking that keyword and implementing it in your listing, moving it to the front of everything in your listing, the front of your title, top of your bullet points, and then make sure it repeats several times throughout your listing. It's repeated in the title, the bullets, the description, in your images, stuff like that. And then also a really good way to really go aggressively at that keyword is to run PPC for that keyword. And if you start to make good sales through your PPC advertisement on that keyword, then your organic listing will start to rank for that keyword as well.